Hello Libras. This is your reading for the 21st through the 31st. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. We're going to go ahead and get started with the Celtic Cross here, okay? Alright, the Moon. Ooh. Pisces, Cancer energy here. Um, this is all about having these really deep feelings for someone, but there, there are still things that are not um, known to you. Things that you would like to know more about, okay, as far as emotions are concerned. I'm feeling that there is a need on your part for some clarity, okay? Let's see what's crossing you guys here. I feel like there's a lot of confusion or something um, going on in your situation. Let's see what's crossing you. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. This is karma. Um, this is also uh, Sagittarian Piscean energy. This is all about change, um, going with the flow. But I'm getting that um, you really want to be successful in this situation but there's there's a lot I feel that you that is just not known to you that you would like to know more about okay let's see the underlying issue here is a four of wands relationship a happy um, dynamic between you and someone else I feel like um, underlying issue is that you're not truly happy for real because there's something that is very unclear to you now this is where what you're trying to get to this is what you're trying to to maintain even if some of you are already in relationships um, you want to be happy and you want to be truly happy and stable I feel let's see what the past issue a star healing hope I'm getting that you know for a lot of you guys your hope um, was renewed as far as relationship is concerned here your hope was renewed surrounding a relationship I'm feeling like you guys um, kind of feel like you're on the right track or you got involved with something that you feel like you know this is what I'm supposed to be doing this is the person that I'm supposed to be with you know in the recent past but there's something that's very unclear to you and I feel like your happiness is at stake here your happiness is at stake guys let's see I don't see any bad cards here. I see there's a lot of deep feelings that's shared between you and someone else. This could possibly be your husband. Okay. This could possibly lead to marriage even. I'm feeling like this person is the one in your mind. Let's see. Oh gosh, your crowning thoughts. It's a lot of cards. Your crowning. There's a lot going on with you guys, I'm feeling. Your crowning thoughts here. You just want to be happy. I feel like you want to know the truth. You want to know everything. You want to be enlightened. And I'm feeling like that is the only way that you guys can truly be happy. Is if you actually know everything. You know you can't know everything, right? You've got some really good cards here, my Libra friends. I feel like if you guys are already in relationships that um, this is something that uh, has a lot of potential to be very successful for you guys here. Very successful. We have Leo and Aries, um, Aquarius energy here as well. <clears throat> What's coming in for my Libras? Queen of Cups. This is somebody that is very, very loving, but this is also somebody that is holding back something here. Okay. This queen comes with conditions. And she will love you, or it could be a he, 
but I'm just talking about the gender of the card here. But this is a feminine energy, whether male or female. But this queen um, in this deck, she has her hand over the cup. So she's coming with a contingency, okay? If she offers love to you, then it must be that you are offering love to her or you're doing things to make um, him or her feel like you do love them. But as soon as they feel like you don't, then they take it away. So there are contingencies with this queen, okay? This is cancer energy here. Let's see what this is. The hermit. The hermit. Hmm. This is you trying to figure out this situation. Is this the one? Is this going to be a stable, committed relationship? Am I going to truly be happy in this connection? Is this my husband or wife? Because if not, you know what, I don't need to give them all of my love. Um, this is you really just trying to figure out your situation currently with this hermit energy. What is the influence for Libra? Two of Pentacles. Being unsure about your situation currently. I really don't see anything um, that is a cause for concern in your situation. Um, but I know, you know, you guys being an air sign, you have a tendency to want to, you know, just kind of figure things out um, and constantly reevaluating things. But I don't see any reason for concern, to be honest with you. But you're not sure about what is going on. You're not sure whether you should stay or whether you should go, whether you should really just um, pour all of your emotions into this situation or kind of like hold back. Okay, let's see what your hopes or fears are. And then we have judgment, making the wrong decision. Your fear is making the wrong decision, doing the wrong thing. Scorpio energy there. You don't want to make a mistake. Because you know that, you know, whatever it is that you choose to do, this is something that's going to um, have lasting effects. So you definitely don't want to make a mistake here. What is the overall for Libra? Ten of Wands. Hmm. It's going to take a lot of work. And I feel like the worries... You're carrying that all by yourself because I don't get that the other party is feeling that concerned, to be honest with you. I feel like, you know, you're carrying this burden by yourself. Because again, I don't, I don't sense that there is a reason to be so very cautious or concerned. Um, so that is something that you're carrying by yourself because I feel that the other person that is um, significant to you feels like all is well, all is good. That is you guys that's kind of like, you know, bouncing the ball back and forth trying to figure out, you know, is this the right thing or is this a good thing for you? Is this going somewhere? Is this the one? You know, that's Sagittarius energy there, Capricorn energy, Virgo energy, and I think I talked about the other signs, guys. So that is what I have for you guys for the 21st through the 31st, and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye now.